Hey, 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 hey. Time for some Yeehaw Challenge here in South Park Phone Destroyer Cakers. Welcome in, everybody. Today we get a brand new challenge mode uh, featuring Big Mesquite Murph. And of course you can see there, Elven King Bradley is going to cost 1 billion energy today. And all adventure cards have approximately 20% increased stats to attack and to health. So we are on our second attempt here. Uh, we try to go superheroes and adventure the first run through and we went 10 and 3 uh, losses. Uh, so we're here at that same area again. And we're gonna try to get up into the 12 juicy nectar packs here with this particular type of setup. Uh, harken back to the time when we played Adventure Challenge before. Um, so again, kind of a new challenge with Mesquite Murphy being to an increased level two and Bradley costing one billion, but we have done the Adventure Challenge in the past. Um, Things are a little different now with the different types of cards that you're available to use. So we've got a lower elo opponent here, but we'll have a good game against our lower elo opponent. They go with the big juicy lightning bolts on weird targets. They've got the nice little space dudes right up front here. And we're not in an area where it's going to be too crazy for us right now. We're actually doing quite alright. So the hook hand parrot's going to come out, catch us in the hook hand Clyde. So we're definitely not as alright as we were about five seconds ago. But we're still doing okay. We're still doing okay. We've got Terrence and Phillip bearing down on us. Of course the Jimmy over here and the Stan are going to try and put haste to our ability to get off our Psalm Burst. And the opponent gives a good stack of laughter there as he takes a bar. And he feels like he's in the lead now. So we'll go ahead and let that Ike boost up one more time. Get a little bit more damage on that NK. And the Zappy Zap here going to try to take a quick turn for the worse looks like our Timmy gets in a big blast on that new kid but as you saw no damage sustained so we'll get our Sally out here we'll let her run across the field and we'll let our energy build up a little bit and see what kind of other cards our opponent might play over there today now he plays the Jimmy into our big garrison there that's gonna knock down our attack of just a little bit but we'll save this charge here uses the war boy twerk in the back there gets the extra boost from his new kid zap cannon and knocks down our witch garrison shaped like a Zorro so the ice man is coming he's gonna put down the ice undoubtedly here we'll use our Sharon to heal up we catch that war boy twerk just before that sweet little war cry goes off and the opponent uses the arrow storm here we'll just kick out our units we'll put the psalm in the back here we'll let uh, Sally come over here handle this dog poo and we'll regen these units up as we psalm burst that little alien away. So we'll say a good game. We'll say a well played to our opponent. A little too much energy spent there at the beginning, but otherwise you could have had me there, my dude. You were on a roll. Sketchy blasting on that new kid, getting me in the heart points. You were doing well, my dude. Much love, much cake to you. So Cakers, two more victories to go. We've got two losses, two victories to go. We've been white knuckling it for a while here with those two losses, but we're gonna get all the way to the end on our second run through here. 
we missed the last two packs we got to get those last two packs opened up we got to get those final battle tokens for the brand new battle pass out there today cakers it's a little short but i noticed there was still uh three guaranteed legendaries and it looks like two of those special gold packs out there you still get the the token pack as well so quite a few legendaries available here coming in the brand new battle pass so you see the opponent goes with the sally he goes with the pocahontas randy today sally gonna come up here kick us in the randy once let's get that psalm off of the field He's not supposed to be here right now. And we'll get our witch garrison out here. That'll undoubtedly give us a ideal situation against this Rendy. And I think it's going to be a perfect time to kick out this little minion. I thought about using some of the regeneration here to keep these units going. But I think we're just going to let him play out here and let that opponent just keep spending and rupture in the energy pocket. And we'll go ahead and send Sally up here into the Heidi. She'll finish off the Heidi. And she'll get over there a little quicker to that new kid. Maybe get a whack off. So that's nice to see. We're going to set up the Psalm here. The opponent goes with the Sharon. Now that Psalm is just bait right now. We want him out front. We'll let that opponent play off into this Psalm unit here. We'll get our little two cost units up here in the front. And he plays the Jimmy into the stand. Let's regenerate here into the Arrow Storm so it does knock down quite a few of our units today. But Heidi's going to get over there and get that uh, bar still under the regeneration as the blast goes down. So everybody gets to survive and get a few extra hits on that NK. That gets us at two bars. We're going to get Randy on the field straight away and back him up with Sharon. We're going to work that into our garrison here if we can. It looks like our opponent may have surrendered, so we're going to send up Sally and the little Indian minion. Regenerate these folks up. We'll say a good game and a well played to our opponent out there. Again, much love, much cake to you. Wish you the best of luck. I hope you're able to get those 12 juicy nectar packs at least once or twice. Farm this little challenge mode up. Get you your gold coins get you all the little materials you might need to help boost up those final cards for your TVT this weekend. Earn you those bottle caps, get you those three PVP packs over the next few days, help your team out cake fam. That's all part of the fun in the game. Um, things like this in the challenge mode only heighten it in my opinion. I really love the challenge mode. A lot of people think it's kind of a cancer system and they don't enjoy getting out here and burning the same thing over and over again, but I don't know. I decided to take Bradley out of the deck last week, and this week he cost a billion, so we don't have to worry about the Bradleys. Oh my goodness, this is the one thing I don't like about Challenge, though, is that we have an opponent with less than 2,000 ELO here coming at us this morning, and I really feel like this is not going to be as fun of an experience for them as they would like it to be. So, um, I, I don't know. If we could do a little something about getting everybody all fixed up to where they can fall into a better area, maybe playing, you know, more heightened on the PvP ladder opponents. I don't know how to explain that without saying just, you know, don't let me play potatoes in challenge mode. Because potatoes in challenge mode, this is definitely going to keep people away from wanting to use these new functions and features that are in the game that are actually there to help them build their character up and to get all these new things and now see like i would normally be a more nice guy and i would let a person like this take a, a quick victory from me just because that one or two packs might help them out but i've already uh, got two losses here and unfortunately i got to be a little bit greedy come and get these final bars so that way I can get into those juicy nectars 
So I hate to sound ranty right there because goodness, I just want my opponents to have as much fun in that challenge mode battle arena as I can. And when I'm, you know, getting matched up with people who have card levels that are negative seven to mine, oh goodness, it's just not a fun time for them. And even though I get the potato salad and can roll to the victory very quickly, it still isn't as fulfilling. So I don't know. Maybe something can be done about that. I don't know if something can be or not. I feel like maybe they would have addressed it already with the way that they've looked at matchmaking on the PvP ladder system so frequently and so often. But I don't know. Anyway, um, South Park first probable... Pro I think that was the first time I ranted on something in South Park. And we definitely didn't mean for it to sound ranty. Um, all of it in good-hearted, good-for-the-whole-community fun if you will so we'll click the little yellow button here that gives us an 1159 as you can see the top score right now 1392 got quite a few uh, newer names up there in the top 10 but still nice to see everybody finishing it off and getting their JC nectars today I hope they farm it up and have some fun do the same cakers get out there have you a good time um, we're gonna take a quick gander into the deck builder area so we can see what the deck is that we use today very similar to the last time we ran this adventure challenge um, we put regeneration in there with a whole bunch of blue cards uh, now mesquite murph is uh, level two for everybody who didn't get them all the way up to level two farming through their recent weekend event but uh in my opinion, having the three five-cost cards in the deck with the several four-cost cards just didn't make too much sense to me. So we tried to run them for a little bit, and after the second loss, we were like, no, this doesn't cycle so well. So, you know, make a choice. You know, Garrison, Pocahontas Randy, Big Mesquite Murph, you know, or sink all three of them in there or none of them at all, whatever's your cup of tea if you drink tea and own cups and stuff like that you know get out there and have some fun cakers but uh, with the 20 percent increase to the adventure cards um, i could have stacked a whole deck worth of adventure but i like the additional healing and the regeneration from the green part but uh, as you could see we got a nice amount of two cost drops right up at the front calamity heidi bandita sally and smuggler ike uh, Deckhand Butters being an additional assassin at 3 cost gives one of your units a great heal. You're going to want to try to focus that heal on your more important units. Uh, Medicine Woman Sharon, for example, Stan of Many Moons, maybe one of the bigger tanks if their ankles have been chopped on by a Sally a little bit more than you'd like. But uh, keep in mind, you've got the extra heals coming from two additional cards as well. Uh, Pirate Ship Timmy, he, he's going to survive that Psalm Blast if he hasn't been smacked around by something first. And then again, if he's your backline units and he's protected by the Sharon as well, you'll see the heals start to rotate in and those backline units that may have been harmed by the Psalm Blast, they'll get healed right back up. So the Sharon works in tandem with uh, somebody like Deckham Butters or again, uh, all on her own if you want to use her and she's uh, healing herself up and your tanks need that deckhand butters you know send that deckhand out to where the tanky persons are at so that little you know extra boost will come back on one of them um, the lightning bolt takes down the psalm still today so we've got the lightning bolt in the deck we've got the swordsman garrison here he's got the sweet little cone in front of him it still takes down all the little assassins and creates quite a bit of damage on some of the units that are there especially the non-adventure units the opponents might be using today Towleys, terence and phillips uh some of the red cards that are out there etc um the pocahontas randy of course another five cost but kicking out the little 20 percent plus minions as well they're fighters they get out there and they can definitely overwhelm that field um, here's a it's a flex spot really for me I, I don't really like the hook hand Clyde in this spot but I really didn't know who else to put in there I had gunslinger kale up in there for a little bit I had uh, the fat ass sheriff style up in there for a minute but like I really feel like hook hand Clyde if he works for you he's gonna provide you with the best type of fodder in that position but you know again uh, choose your spots wisely and you know 
pick a client of your own or not one at all, Cake Fam. Uh, we're running the regeneration to keep the units hot and popping, uh, surprising that opponent here and there and collecting that first bar, keeping those units rolling towards it and grabbing the second bar. Uh, the Stana Mini Moons, uh, he's kind of the lightning bolt fodder here. You want your Sharon to survive. You want your bigger tanks to be up and running. And that uh, Pirate Ship Timmy is actually pretty darn important, sitting on the edge, collecting those big hits. So keep that Stana Mini Moons in your pocket until you know it's useful. Uh, maybe you can rotate him onto the field if your opponent does something silly and lightning bolts somewhere else for whatever reason. Uh, but, you know, keep in mind they may be running a secondary clear card as well. Um, Stand of Many Moons, he's a fun one out there, Kakers. Get out there, make you a deck, enjoy it, have you some fun. Uh, we'll get back over into the PvP area, and we will open up those event cards. We'll get into the Juicy Nectars, fo show. <coughs> we want that last pack. And I need to go out and put some more fence posts up. Keep that friggin' goat from teaching its older goat's, uh, you know, relatives in the cage there how to jump over a fence. It's kind of crazy how smart goats turn out to be. They're outsmarting me, that's for sure. Fence post after fence post. Oh, my. But I still, you know, I love them. They're good goats. They uh, provide us with some nice good farm effect here around the home front uh they give me something to work with out there i like to take care of animals animals are fun people too and we got to get out there and make sure they got some food and water and a nice place to chill uh look here man four shaman token i considered putting some shaman token in there wowzers we get an epic card way up here in the front how about that cake fam right there inside the first person pack here unbelievable the nectar's flowing we need to get that gold up again so we're definitely going to farm this challenge several times and we'll hold off on buying that new battle pass until we got quite a few more of the battle tokens no need for me to rush into it right away um i am one off from a uh, ninju kale getting up to level four but no need to rush into trying to find him there in the battle pass just now. We'll wait it out like we always do. Two Kale, other Drow Elves, some Tupperware, the Icy Windy, STG, and uh, Princess Kenny. We're halfway through. And I haven't even started the powwow. <coughs> Woo! <coughs> my, my, my. Get on that powwow if you got it, Cakers. <coughs> this uh, Tahoe OG powwow is quite juicy. It definitely gets the job done. Look at all these dang materials. Hey, 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 hey. So we got four more little boxes to open down here. That's going to give us uh, three people packs and one coin pack to go. So here in our persons, we get some quite a good amount of rares up front there. And we close it out with some nice comments here at the end and a follow-up epic. That's our second program stand. How do you do there? We'll take that. We'll get them 1,750 coins as well. Oh, goodness. <coughs> so we're going to jump into the final packs here. Definitely roll that powwow. We get the four-assed monkeys, some of the banditas. We get the princess Kenny times three, the Dr. Timothy, the astronaut butters, and some of them little Christmas critters and their unholy combustion. <coughs> Let's dive into the last pack and do one more little powwow here. It's uh, still rolling. There's the final battle tokens. We get 40 of them. Princess Kenny, Shaman token, Space Warrior token. We get three Warboy Twerk, three Hallelur. <coughs> and we ended off with two Captain Diabetes. So come away with a clean amount of rares. 
nice amount of materials and two epics there for our second run through and finishing it off on 12 victories so again cakers wish you good luck out there in that challenge mode battle arena a big spoonful of sugar definitely helps the salt go down we always want to tell you don't forget to bring your towel let's come back see me on the flip side if you wish to and we'll do that powwow then you know if you're new and you've hung out this long and you want to tap of the subscribe button i encourage you to if you like the little video click the little like button we upload quite a few times a week mostly fun powwows and good times out there in that battle arenas but uh, cakers again we always always gonna tell you much love much cake and until the next time, Rusty Horror will tell you peace, 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 peace.